Hi guys, so uh, this time I thought I would share my um, experience in uh, when I was in Paris the, two weeks ago. So I went to Paris for a concert and it was uh, Pop Jungmin, his Reverso concert in Paris. And he had a little um, European tour, I guess. And he also went to Germany. Um, and also Russia uh, besides Paris so yeah but I went to the Paris concert because it fit uh, my schedule the best it was during a Saturday so yeah it was very convenient for me and uh, well the tickets to Paris wasn't that expensive it cost like almost the same as going north um, uh, here in Sweden so it's really I consider it cheap. Um, yeah, uh, I have my phone here to uh, just check that I don't forget anything um, from this uh, day. Uh, I went to Paris on a Saturday, on the first February, and it was really early. I had to take the plane at 6:20 a.m. So I woke up at 4 a.m. It was really early, but I wasn't too tired. Um, and I actually flew by myself to Paris, but I met up with another Swedish girl. Uh, she also has a YouTube channel here. Um, and we met up at the um, airport in Paris, and then we went uh, together to... First we went to Chinatown, and I bought some stuff there. Only small stuff, but... For example, I bought this um, this jelly bracelet. So it's like this, and then it has their names. And this is like three dimensional, so I really like it. And I also have two others, but these I bought uh, on eBay for a long time ago, and I forgot to bring them actually. But we went to Chinatown first because we arrived really early, it was like 9-10 am. We had uh, VIP tickets which allowed us to uh, get into the venue one hour earlier at 6 pm. So the concert started at 6, uh, no I mean 7 pm, yeah. Um, but so we were in Chinatown, we grabbed some lunch and I bought things and I also bought star cards and a EXO, an EXO memo pad thing. Uh, I didn't want to buy really heavy stuff like albums and stuff since I all, already have all the albums I want. Uh, I only collect WS51 and EXO albums so for, and merchandise. So. Uh, I was really excited to go to this concert. Uh, first I was a bit unsure as well since uh, yeah I had to spend my own money and uh, I didn't have that much but then things got better and I really looked forward to this concert especially after I seen small uh, pictures and stuff from the uh, German um, concert that was a few days before uh, ahead of the uh, Paris concert, so yeah, uh, and uh, WS51 has been with me since the beginning of my K pop journey, so yeah, they mean a lot to me, uh, obviously, since I dedicated one wall to them as well. Um, they are my precious uh, oppa, the, um, yeah, so I see them more like uh, big brothers. Um, and they are really good uh, role models and uh, I also have one idol type in this group and he's uh, Yu Jong and yeah so but I went to Paris to see Jong Min and Jong Min is such a sweet sweet person uh, I've only seen like clips um, I've only seen him through you know the computer via the internet shows um, him on shows and interviews and read about him like stuff like that but it's not like 
it's not the same as seeing a person in person. Um, it's so weird to see uh, your idols in 3D because they're so they look so real but yet not. Um, uh, yeah, so. Um, since we had the VIP tickets, we thought it would be easier to get in, and it was. But we were like in last in the VIP line. It wasn't that long uh, the queue, but uh, since the um, the concert itself it was really small, it was held at the at a small. Uh, I know you can call it a theater, but it was like a small club or something. Um, but it's really cozy. Uh, though I would had wished they had you know seats because it was standing places so it wasn't too convenient for me since I'm really short um, I'm barely 155 centimeters yeah I'm not too sure how tall or how short I am but I'm really short and it was a bit difficult to see him fully but I managed to see him uh, from uh, his full upper body so yeah later on when I saw pictures of him I saw which uh, what kind of pants he wore and uh, they were black <laughs> uh, yeah but yeah we got in earlier and then I bought some stuff I didn't want to buy too many things uh, since I knew I wouldn't really use them but I uh, bought some things that I knew I could use and, and one of those were this t-shirt um, so it's I don't know if you see anything because I can't see what I'm actually filming but yeah um, so this t-shirt is really small actually I should have this is medium size I should have chosen um, large which is sounds really ridiculous but yeah this is a such a small shirt and the back is like this but the fabric is really uh, soft and the print is really nice I really like this one I wore it on the, the flight back home <laughs> I miss the concert I miss Jongmin Oppa uh, and then I also bought this it's been used but um, this bag and uh, this is Jongmin, his face. So yeah, I really wanted this one. Um, so I knew I wanted to get this one. The t-shirt I decided to get at the venue. And it's really nice. I like the fabric as well. It's, um, it, it can carry my books. <laughs> uh, which is important. So I use this actually when I go to lectures and stuff. And the two last things were these photos, um, these two, and I actually got uh, these two along with um, the girl that I went to the concert with. So we bought one set of four pictures and then we shared on the uh, photos. Uh, so the, the whole concert thing, I'm not... I'm not going to go through everything, uh, how uh, every song, uh, I'm not going to go through every song because I can't remember that, it's been two weeks and my memory sucks, uh, I forgot like most of the things the days after the concert show, yeah, but I wrote actually a fan account on my Tumblr so I will link it down below so you can actually read that one if you, if you want more details, but yeah, he played um, all of my favorite songs and um, in Japan, Jongmin also goes by another name as a other artist or something. Uh, he's also called Romeo and Romeo is very different from Park Jongmin. Uh, Romeo is very mysterious and dark and almost like a vampire. So uh, it's very a huge contrast. Um, compared to his 
uh, personality. Uh, Park Jung Min. Park Jung Min is very bubbly. He's very playful. He's very cute and very sweet. Uh, he likes to talk a lot, a joke a lot, a laugh a lot, a lot too. He's really really cute. Uh, like I said before, I mean I always only seen him through the uh, the internet uh, and. I always knew that he was a really uh, happy person, but but when I was there uh, at the concert, <sighs> I don't know why. Uh, I feel like I'm going to cry, uh, but yeah, um, when I was there, I I got to see him uh, in person and his real um, personality and all that. It was really really amazing because yeah um, oh, I don't know what I'm being like this and I'm going to think that this is really stupid to upload this but yeah um, it meant a lot to me to see him and he played so many good great songs um, he sang hide and seek which is one of my favorite Japanese songs of his and he he just sings with a lot of passion, um, with a lot of uh, emotions and facial expressions, uh, and also when he talks, like with the audience, he's very, he's very close to you. He's um, it's easy to talk to him. He's very very friendly. So, uh, and there was a French uh, translator there. And whenever the translator he signed up, uh, sort of screwed up with the translation or he stuttered, so uh, you can see Jung Min he was like <laughs> he was uh, playing mad at him, which was really really cute, and I had a really great time. Um, there was a lot, there were a lot of times when I felt like I was going to cry uh, because it's just um, sometimes it can be a, little, a bit hard to be a triplet since they're very inactive uh, right now they're not as a group uh, they have been doing like solo promotions for four years but I can promise you they're still a group they have not disbanded. They still meet each other, and yeah. So, but it's sometimes really hard because I fell in love with the group, and um, the fandom itself is pretty small. Or most of the fans are also older, so they don't really do a lot of things uh, over the internet or. Maybe it's just me that's really bad looking for you guys, but yeah, um, so I don't really know that many Triple S, um, uh, their fans, um, uh, and like meeting the, uh, Tina, who I went with, um, meeting her was like the first time I like was with a Triple S, and it was very very different from being with i am usually with my exo uh, friends exo stand biased friends um and i like that a lot but i mean it's really different uh, with being with a fellow triple s because we talk about other things that i know of while i can't really do that uh, the same at all with my other friends so it was just a new whole experience and I'm really happy for that. And I, when my when I was standing there in the audience, it was just so. Yeah, I, I just it's very hard to describe. It's because I was standing in a crowd, um, with people that like the same uh, person and music that I like. So it was really special. Yeah, so that's why I can And I'm also a very, very um, emotional person, so I tend to uh, easily cry. And that's why I felt like I was going to cry so many times during the concert. Uh, which, uh, yeah, I didn't, I really didn't want it to because I, then I would break down totally. 
but he was just so perfect and I really uh, I really am truly glad that I went since I bought the VIP tickets I also got to shake hands with Jong Min Oppa and it was the most uh, I never experienced anything like that um, first of I didn't know what I was going to say or I had, I had prepared one sentence in Korean for him I wanted to say Oppa I will always be your fan forever um, and uh, yeah so I got that sentence um, translated for me and but while I was standing there there were like two guards before me and I was really unsure if I should say it because I couldn't really remember the phrase uh, but then it was my turn and he um, turn, turned his head towards me and uh, I just went blank I think yet I, I was still conscious so I was just thinking a million thoughts and what I should uh, say and and then I realized that uh, this chance would never really come again um, not what I know of so I thought I should go for everything and then uh, then I said uh, well since it was a handshake uh, it wasn't just a handshake uh, but it was a like meet and greet handshake event so uh, we got to shake hands with him only that he uh, as I was talking to him he hold my hand for a very long while it feel like so it felt like an eternity but it was probably around one minute but one minute is really long and I got to say a lot to him um, I got to say uh, so first I thought is uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, first of all, I grabbed his hand and his hand was really warm, it was really soft and not sweaty at all. I'm sure I was sweaty, uh, but I hope not. Uh, and it's really warm and I I don't really exactly remember the feeling like physically, but it's stuck mentally. So it's really weird. It's, the feeling is left in my in my mind so I'm still I still remember how it was and and he's very good at looking uh, looking at you and um, it sounds weird but yeah uh, so you like feel like he's actually listening to you uh, and he's so pretty uh, he has long hair now so it's tied up in a small little uh, bun or something um, and he's very very pretty but yeah, um, so I said onion sale, and um, my Korean is very bad. Excuse me. And then I said, uh, then I said the phrase that I've been saying for this. Uh, I think it was Yongwani Oppa Fen Halkoyo. And as you see, my Korean is very bad, <laughs> but he understood me. And he said that he was, I don't really understood what he said, but and I can't really remember either, but I think he said something about he was uh, hoping that we would be uh, together forever. <laughs> um, so he, he was responding to me and I was really happy. And then I said, and then I said, I had to say it. Uh, I said in English uh, that I was a Swedish fan. I came from Sweden and he was like, Sweden and I'm pretty sure he didn't know where Sweden was but he understood that I was not French which was my point um, yeah uh, and then I also said the one thing that I always wanted to say and then I said uh, and that's the thing that I've been wanting to say to them all the five members um, for a very long while just because, you know, they've been giving me a lot. And, and he said, um, thank you for coming tonight. And he really appreciated it. And I was just so happy. And when it was my turn to finally go, I turned back once more and he was still looking at me. And I said, Oppa, ciao. And 
uh, he was really cute because he did the same motion. <laughs> he was like, mm. <laughs> and I was like, yes. <laughs> uh, he's really, really cute. Um, such a great personality and very approachable. And that's what I love about him. Okay. Um, I can't obviously talk about them without breaking down. Um, but yeah, this was a really, really uh, special uh, event and I'm so happy that I went and I want to go next time another member or Songin comes back to Europe or if I go to Korea, I want to go on uh, a concert like that. The great thing about these guys is that even though they uh, were or is, you know, super idols um, the fan bases are quite small right now uh, especially like outside Korea uh, or outside Asia uh, here in Europe it's really small the fan base so we got to like be very close to him and I really like that actually I I prefer that more than you know sitting far away in a big concert hall um, it would be still amazing, but it's not the same as like how it was during this concert. So I'm really happy for that. Um, maybe I'm a bit selfish, but yeah, it was really uh, I had a really great time. And I also wore this um, when when you had the VIP uh, ticket, you got this wristband thing, paper thing, and I wore it for it. <laughs> Two weeks, then I, two days ago, I took it off because it was getting too, uh, you know, old and stuff. So, but I'm still keeping that. Yeah. So, uh, I don't remember what I didn't uh, take uh, talk about uh, in this video, but I I probably forgot a lot of things. He's, <gasps> yeah, I know what I forgot to say. Tell you guys, uh, he sang a lot of or three, four, 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 <laughs> doubles, five, one songs, and that was also a m moment that I wanted to cry because I never thought I would experience that. But of course, they all they usually sing doubles, five, one uh, songs, but I never like really realized that I ha uh, got to um, listen to them live, but I did and. It was just such a blast. Uh, every fans they got crazy and it was just really amazing. He sang "Coward," "A Song Calling for You," uh, "Bye Bye," and he sang "Greenpeace," "Groupie," and it's a song dedicated to us, Tripolis. He finished the concert with that song, so it was really great ending. And I'm really thankful for him to bring all that to us as well. Uh, yeah, so I probably forgot a lot of things, but the details um, is in the uh, my fan account that I wrote two weeks ago, uh, a few days. Oh, the day after the concert. Yeah. So if you want to read, you can always read that one. And thank you for watching this. It was pretty long, and I was probably very embarrassing but yeah I thought I would share this like this as well and yeah but thank you for watching and and, and and last but not least I got to use this finally the, they had a con uh, concert license but I brought this one and I, I never thought I would use this one I should actually have a larger one white but it was too big to bring with me. I was afraid it was going to break, so I took this one and it, just, it worked. It worked. It worked well. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching, and I hope to bring you more unboxing videos. If not, I'm sorry. Uh, so, see you in the next video. Bye bye.